Work is done by a force. So let's specifically look at the work done by the gravitational force. Let's take the example of throwing an object up into the air. Our first diagram here shows as it's traveling up into the air, the displacement is upward, and the weight or the force of gravity is downward. So those are in exactly opposite directions. So the angle between those two vectors is what we call the angle phi, and it's going to be 180 degrees. And we know that the work done by a force is the dot product of the force and the displacement. So the force is the weight, so that's mg. The displacement is d, and phi is the angle between them. And if it's 180, we know the cosine of 180 degrees is negative 1, so our equation becomes work is due to gravity is equal to negative mgd. And on the way back down, now the displacement vector and the weight point in the same direction, so the angle between them is 0. The cosine of 0 is positive 1, so the work done by gravity in that case is positive mgd. And if we think about the plus and the minus sign here, it should make sense. On the way up, uh, an object is slowed down by gravity, and so the work done is negative. In other words, it takes kinetic energy away from the object, and the object slows down. As it falls back to Earth, the gravity helps to speed the object up, and its kinetic energy increases, and positive work is done on the object. When we lift and lower an object, instead of throwing it into the air, we're going to apply a force with our hand to lift it and also during the time that we lower it. If we didn't apply a force, the object would free fall. So we know that if we're just lowering it downward, we are still applying a force with our hand. Let's assume a special situation where the object is at rest at start and at finish. So in my picture here, of course, the weight was on the floor. The weightlifter picked it up, lifted it over his head, and now that it's above its, his head at the highest point, it's at rest once again. So the work done by gravity, which we'll call WG, and the work done by the applied force, W sub A, will be opposite in sign, because on the way up, the force of my hand is upward, and the displacement is upward, so that's positive work done by my lifting force. But during that same time, weight is downward and displacement is upward, so the work done by gravity will be negative. And on the way back down, gravity is downward, the displacement of the barbell is downward, so on the way down, gravity does positive work, but as I lower it back to the ground, I'm pushing up on the bar, and the displacement is down, so my work on the way down is negative. In other words, the two will always be opposite in sign. And if we're saying that it started at rest and ends at rest, then I know that the change in kinetic energy is zero because change in kinetic energy is equal to the amount of work. So the work done by the applied force plus the work done by the gravitational force add to zero, and in other words, they are equal and opposite. So we can rewrite this as the work done by the applied force is equal to the opposite of the work done by the gravitational force, where the gravitational well, work done by the gravitational force is the magnitude of the force, the weight, times the displacement, times the cosine of the angle between them. Let's look at sample problem 7-5. And uh, we're asked to find the work done by the gravitational force as we, as a box is pulled up a ramp, a frictionless ramp. Okay, so the mass of the box is 15 kilograms. The distance along the hypotenuse here that the crate is going to be pulled is 5.7 meters. And the change in height is going to be 2.5 meters. So from that, we can figure out what this angle theta is here, uh, taking the opposite side and the hypotenuse. I can take the inverse sign and find out that that angle is 26 degrees. And my gravitational force is straight down 
My displacement is along the hypotenuse of the triangle. So 90 plus theta then is my angle phi, the angle between the displacement and the force, the gravitational force. So that's 116 degrees. Now there's three ways, different ways you can calculate it. It's really basically the same way all three times, but it's just different ways of, of thinking about it. So the first way, like we've been saying, use the dot product between the force and the displacement. So the force is the weight, the displacement is D, and we showed that the angle between the force and the displacement is 116 degrees. So the cosine of 116. And that multiplies out to negative 367 joules. Or we can think of it a slightly different way. We can think of the work as the displacement times the component of force in the same direction as the displacement, which is basically what the dot product is saying, but this is just one way, another way of looking at it. So Fx is the component of the force that is in the same, on the same axis as the displacement. So uh, it is in the opposite direction. The displacement is up the ramp, and the component of force shown here with the blue dotted line is down the ramp. So that's why we have the negative sign there. And we can show that if this angle is theta here, this angle in here is also theta. And so mg sine theta, because this component is opposite of this angle right here. So that is uh, sine theta. So mg sine theta is the component of force in the direction of the displacement, negative because it's in exactly opposite direction, and times d. Plug in all the numbers, and we see that we get the same answer. And the third way of looking at it is to think of it as the force times the component of the displacement that was in the direction of the force. Up here, we say the displacement times the component of force in the direction of the displacement. But when you look at this equation, you can see that you could associate the sine theta with the d instead of with the mg. And when you do that, if you look at this triangle, d sine theta is this vertical displacement right here, h. So we can say that then the work done by gravity is the force times the vertical displacement. So negative mg uh, d sine theta uh, minus 367 joules.